Hello, everyone. This is Robert from Book of Mormon Editions, where we discuss printings, publications, and various editions of the Book of Mormon. I was recommended by email to review this next Book of Mormon, so I'm glad that I have this edition and glad that someone else recommended it also. Today, we'll review the Book of Mormon Reader's Edition, edited by Grant Hardy from Illinois University Press. There's not much church history background on this book, so I'll get right into the review, as I think it's a pretty awesome third-party edition of the Book of Mormon. This is a soft cover book that stands 9 by 6 inches and is about 2 inches thick. As a third-party edition, this is not affiliated with the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints or any other denomination. However, Grant Hardy is a member of the Salt Lake Church, a university professor, and highly respected in academic fields. He has written or contributed to a number of publications. He's also wrote the introduction to Royal Skousen's earliest text, Book of Mormon. So in 2003 or thereabouts, Grant Hardy started a project of creating a reader's edition of the Book of Mormon. His introduction in the front of the book is one of the most comprehensive and well-rounded introductions I've seen. The 23-page introduction focuses on Book of Mormon history and views both the Salt Lake perspective as and why this is important to a non-member's point of view also. Seriously, this is one of the best secular introductions I've read, and I encourage reading it if you chance to pick up this edition of the Book of Mormon. Because the current Salt Lake edition is copyrighted by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, this edition uses the 1920 text of the Book of Mormon, as that's now in the public domain. The most notable feature of this edition is that the verses have been taken out and the text has been put back into novel form. This is what it means by a reader's version. No double column, no scripture markers, just a readable book. Because of this, Grant has used various formats inside the text to illustrate various writing styles. Normally, most of the text is in block paragraph form. However, there are some cases where there are other scriptures being quoted and indentations and poetic formatting in some areas assist in breaking up the text into a readable, readable format. There are also chiasmuses pointed out, and the indentation of lines show various matching lines that illustrate this form of writing also. The only critique I've seen about this comes from Royal Skousen, where he states that a reader's edition has quotation marks included. It can be difficult reading a long quoted sermon or when a quote inside a quote is used. However, if Royal Skousen still recommended Grant Hardy inside Skousen's own work, I think it can manage with this also. The end of the text closes on page 630, followed by several uh, indices in the back, including the testimony of the witnesses. In fact, there is 80 pages of supplemental materials in the back. This includes Book of Mormon printing timelines, the authors and families listed in the Book of Mormon, and maps, and so forth. I especially liked the clarity given on textual changes that have happened over time in the Book of Mormon and some background on it. Once again, these are listed as supplemental materials in the back. So overall, you have a reader's edition of the Book of Mormon. The text formatted back into a novel reader's version in paragraph form with helpful materials in the introduction and appendices. I'm impressed that someone else sent me a recommendation to review this edition of the Book of Mormon, and I happen to agree with them that this is a pretty interesting, well-put-together, secular re edition of the Book of Mormon. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe as I'll continue to post both Salt Lake and non-Salt Lake editions as time permits. If you have a special or unique edition of the Book of Mormon that you'd like reviewed on this series, please contact me at bomeditions at gmail.com. Best wishes until next time.